What's up, guys? So, I am off to the theaters. I don't get out to the movie theaters all that often. When I do, it tends to be a 4DX screening. I tend to go all out. You know, get the, the best experience I can. I, mean, I like the, the immersive nature of the 4DX experience. It's, it's one of those things that, yeah, the big screen, it adds something. But as you begin to layer in all the extra elements, it really gets pretty immersive. It's rare that I indulge, but Logan has released, and I have tickets. Quick story before I go, no movie theater snacks, but let's do it. I just got out of the theater. I'm gonna wait till I get home to I need a second to process this. Okay, home again. Where to even start? As always, no spoilers. So, point one, um, beautifully, beautifully done. Not gonna bury the lead, I loved it. It was, it was everything I could have wanted. I, I've been waiting nine X-Men movies to get this movie. This was not just a good X-Men movie, this was good cinema. This was really, really good. As to, um, did it apply, did it stay true to the source material? No, it took some liberties, but this deep into sort of the X-Men cinematic universe, it was exactly what it needed to be for what they were trying to accomplish. There's so much that I could talk about. Um, this, this girl that plays Laura, Daphne King, phenomenal. I like her better when she's not talking, but um, really, really good. The chemistry and the, di the dynamic between the characters, fantastic. Really good. Um, there was a, a couple of minor pacing things that I feel like could have smoothed out just a, a fraction, but in the scheme of things, that's small potatoes. Like. There's so much that I want to say and that I want to discuss, um, but I'm going to stick true to this no spoilers idea. And there were things that they w managed to keep secret and surprised me. And holy shit. <laughs> like, for those of you who are thinking, oh, it's an X Men movie, I can take my kids to this. No, no, you can't. This is a hard R, true Wolverine movie. Like, everything that I've wanted from Wolverine from the beginning, oh, oh, they delivered. They delivered. In fact, uh, two years back, when Hugh Jackman was polling his fans and asking what we wanted, that's what I told him. And oh, 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 oh. Mm. he delivered. <laughs> um, there was a real, real massive dynamic spectrum and there's so much I can drill into but I'm not gonna do it for opening weekend. Bottom line, uh, No Kids, fantastic, fantastic movie. Um, Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart have both said that they're retiring their characters after this um, and so it was exactly what it needed to be. It, This is the first X-Men movie that I cried during the credits. Yeah, for real. Like, and not just a, a tear or two, like, ugly cried. Like, it, they, they got me. They got me good. <laughs> and I wasn't the only one either. It was, the whole theater at the end of that movie is just in tears. It's really well done. Go see this movie. 
I will probably see it again. I will probably talk more about it in a separate video another time. That's all I'm going to say for now. Oh, and final point. Don't stay through the credits. I mean, stay for the credits, respect to the people who worked on the film. But there's nothing after the credits. There's no tag on this one. So when the credits roll, it's done. And that's it for this one. Go see this movie. All the best.